day 248 in the game. Carl on level 15, closing in on 16 with his new health armor. Still have the same helmet and weapon and uh, total number of troops killed and wounded going up steadily. The same pack of companions and uh, random, random army as before. And the rebellion against the Poles is on a, on a final stretch, I guess, with only Warsaw and Lotz left, uh, with the Cossacks helping, taking uh, taking Slutsk from them. And uh, yeah, I I want to move fast because even that uh, even that we are uh, just the rebels of the Polish Commonwealth, this is considered just like any other faction. So uh, one of these other factions might at any moment declare war on us, the rebels. And of course that would make uh, things a whole lot harder. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to round up all the lords we have now. Well, at least let's say four. And... Um, And go take Warsaw or uh, or that fortress. The problem is finding them. Let's try Minsk, Kiev, and Lviv. Okay, we have two lords here. <laughs> Just when I started to look for them, this is a good start. Hello, I have a new task for you. Follow me. Okay, you are busy, bastard. Hello. Hello me. Good. That one guy can go and uh, do whatever he wants. Carl still has uh, King Jan Casimir as prisoner. Uh, I'm not sure if it if it's by feature that uh, Carl is not letting go of it, or actually the Poles are not even asking for it. But. Um, I don't mind. That means that the Poles really don't have a really don't have anyone to lead their attacks, so uh, they uh, they can't really strike back. So pretty much the only thing I'm worried about, well, they are trying some uh, something like that. That's the Swedish town. No, it's the Cossacks. Okay, that's fine with me. Let's see if we have a lord resting here, or patrolling. There's a Cossack lord, not what I meant. Carl, Carl has two very rich villages here, that are bringing stupid amount of money. Okay, we have our warlord here. Let's go see if he wants to come and join. Hello, uh, come with me. And I just remembered. All right, there's no time limit in it. Uh, Janus Ratsivil asked Carl to get the Tatar Mirza prisoner, uh, but I, my idea was that I will finish the rebellion first because Ratsivil also said that I'm not yet the king, so he doesn't want to tell about the Black Mace to Carl. And I think uh, these three guys, in total 400 men, with Carl's army, we will have enough. Hey, have I talked to you, Prince? Because I'm not certain. Just want to talk to you. Ah, yes, I haven't talked to you. So my my relations with this fellow uh, is extremely poor. But I will I will try to ask him to join join the rebels. Hmm, King Jan Casimir has never given me my due, so I don't see that I own him much. 
However, Janusz Ratzewil might be no better, and King Jan Casimir has at least shown himself, has never given me my due, so uh, maybe the reward part will work for this guy. So tell me, why should I turn my back on a bastard I know in a favor of a bastard I don't? I've already heard some arguments for supporting your candidates, but I disagree with most of them. Okay, so I will try this, because he uh, said that Jan Kasimir has never given, given him his due. Ratzibel will reward his followers well, I think. He respects the line of argument. Reasons are clear, but he doesn't trust me because of the relations. And he says nay. Damn it. Well, that means uh, we need to do it by brute force and go, go for the castle. Uh, I think the Kazakhs are going for Warsaw, so there's a good chance that this will all be over right here if we take lots and they take Warsaw. Because they are riding with force, and the Cossacks are at war. Um, well, okay, they are also at war with the Swedes, so they might go for Lublin, never mind. I'm hoping they'd go for Warsaw, but they probably won't. Speeding up the travels here carefully. Oh, wow, there's a whole lot of men here. Would this guy join me? I'm not sure if I have talked to, talked to him before. I think I have talked to the guy. No, I haven't. And I have some relations with this guy. Why don't you join the rebellion? I gave an oath of homage to King Jan Casimir, though the powerful are not bound by the oaths as are ordinary people. Impose order and prevent war. Okay, I will go with the legal argument here. Yeah, he's a peaceful guy. Okay. He doesn't like one of our lords. Janus Ratzwil has the clearest claim to the throne. For the sake of lawful rule, you should join. He didn't like that, damn it. Before you go, Lord Karl, I have something to ask you. We may be enemies in this war, but I pray that you believe, as I do, that we can still treat each other with civility and respect. Thus, I hope that you might be kind enough to assist me in a matter of great importance. I'm listening. I have a friend here. He was once a mighty warrior, but now he has grown deathly ill. Pestilence has infected an old battle wound, and unless he is seen to by a doctor soon, he will surely die. This man is most dear to me, Lord Karl, but he is stubborn as a hawk and refuses to allow anyone to look at his injury. Seems he doesn't trust any of the physicians here, but I have heard that you have a capable surgeon with you. If you would let your surgeon come here and have a look at him, he may be able to convince him to give, him, give his consent to a necessary surgery. Please, I would be deeply in debt to you if you would but grant me this request. <sighs> Giving Sarabun away? It would improve my relations with the guy, which might pay me up later. Okay. Take, uh, take Sarabun. What was... What? You don't... Why you didn't just take him?
Okay, so time time passed there. Okay, but he was staying. In, all right. Okay. Okay, so that got is done. So <laughs> there there was actually time passing there when I couldn't do anything. Okay. Your surgeon managed to convince my friend to agree to the operation. The matter is in God's hand now. All we can do is pray. No matter the outcome, I thank you for lending your surgeon to me, sir. I shall never forget your generosity. Yeah, with a plus three to the relations. Uh, 360. Yeah, I think uh, I think I've lost all hope of convincing anyone else to join the rebellion. So uh, this just has to end end with a brute force. I like the fog, the mist. Really nice. <sighs> okay. Looks like I will need each and every one of our lords to do this. It'll be too too tight otherwise. Because I have dogs to both of those guys and they, they won't join. So let's see. Let us see. Careful here. Is there anyone resting here? Yes, will you join me now again? I need you all. Oh, wait a minute. I can... Oh, I forgot. Stupid me. There's the option. To start a campaign. Damn it! Why did I <laughs> stupid me? Because the option ops in this uh, with fire and sword, the option is not here, or I don't know if it's because we are rebels. But the, anyway, the option is not here with the companions, and I haven't haven't talked to the compan uh, the lords who are already following me. So I totally forgot that. But here's here's hoping. As much as possible, we'll actually join. Kind of cool seeing all the Cossacks and Swedes uh, riding about. Now the question is, will anyone join? Certainly hope they will. Oh, come on, what the hell? So that's it, you just leave? This one guy likes me, he's following. There should be that one guy patrolling here. Okay, he's now in his fortress. Good, I can ask him. Looks like the new campaign isn't working for shit. So I guess it didn't, didn't matter that I didn't use it. So you're busy here drinking beer? You're not making it this easy, Rebels. Two hundred and ninety. That's like exactly the amount of men we have. There's one more Lord coming. And we have the upper hand. I think I will give it a shot. Okay, let's do it. Plan to go with this V. 
video. Seeds the town, explosives, do it. There's one more lord coming in, yes, good. Was that one we already had here? I don't know. We have four lords, four lords and rooted enemies, whatever that means. And the walls of this city are too strong, damn it. Explosive failed. New attempt. I wouldn't mind seeing more lords coming in. Vilna has been besieged, damn it. Come on. We need to do this now. Okay, explosives detonated, destroying part of the wall. Begin the assault! Let's try not to get shot. Uh, no, no. Companions, shut up and follow me. Um, marksman, wait with your fire a bit. Come here. Marksman, fire at will. Infantry charge, cavalry charge. Marksman, come here. Stay behind the corner, like there. Marksman here. Oh fucking hell! <sighs> well, I guess that's the tr that's the tradition. <clears throat> Shooting companions in the back of the head. Uh, marksman, go there. That was part of I shot. Enforcements, please. Where the hell are you, everyone? Fuck. Oh, hello! I just you were one of our guys. I'm my bad. There you are, some of you.
Do you have ammunition, Sarabun? Yes, you do. Marksman can attack as well if you haven't been attacking. I think we are winning. Yes! Let's celebrate together. Yes! Yes! One more. Yes! <laughs> Way to go, Sarapun. Oh, nice one. The whole battle might not be over, but we won this fight. Let's see. Nine of us killed, 22. 94, so 120 in total from us. And 231 from them, yes. There might be 60, 50 more. No, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Woo. How about that? Lance Melissa man, okay, you can come. Armed surf, sure, mercenaries, musketeer, yes. Uh, let's take these guys. I have Brigand and Rebel with me now, which is cool. Caravan Master and you. Okay, some of the poor ones. Great! Warsaw has fallen to your troops, or Warsaw, I don't know. How, how an English man would say that. You now have full control of the town. Nice. Very nice, and my men almost died of... Uh, died because they didn't have any food. Let's get some beer to celebrate the victory. Is there any nice armors here for a companion, perhaps? That's pretty cool. Let's get that one. I have uh, so much money that I can I can spend. Yeah, that's cool. All right, who will get it? Uh, I think I will give it to Fatima. You can wear that, right? Yeah, it looks good. And just as a, in a way to say I'm sorry for shooting you in the back of the head, I will give the <laughs> Fatima's uh, old armor to Barbara. Right. That was good. That was uh, very, very good. There's lots of castle left, and I think I will just push it and go there. Even that... Uh, well, actually, Sarapun saved everyone on the exit, so let's just uh, let's just keep on rocking. I will give Varashava to you, Pavel. Didn't like that, but I don't care. Village. Plotsk. Well, I will give it to you. Again, Pavel didn't like that. I might take one of these places for me. Um, let me see. Okay, so that's one. Very rich. Rotsilov and rich. Trolek poor. Solinsky. Did I just give it away the richest town? No. Staro Staronovice. I will take that for myself. Loses one morale, but we are still on excellent. Ratsilov. Ratsilov for you. I would give.
give some villages and towns to Ratsville, but because the freaking coward is just hiding in Vilna, I'm not giving him anything. Okay, and here are the rest of the rest of the poles because they don't have anyone left. But that's sti that's still uh, well, it's 400. It's 480, 500, 550. Ah, that's that's a bit too much. Some of the lords would need to leave the town. Then uh, then I could do it. I think I will while at it. I will uh, ask. Oh, we still have the campaign on, okay? Hmm. If everyone would come here, then maybe, maybe. This number of troops won't even be near if there's 500 there. Getting a town with 200 is one thing, but getting a town with 500 is just too much. There's no one in Lviv. You are chasing patrol. You are no longer... There's enemies near Vilna. Hmm. Okay, this, this I don't understand. Now this, this guy just took this town. So I can, I can assign some towns, but I can't assign them all. How the heck does how the, how the heck does that work? And it's a freaking asshole who I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't give that town to him. Especially since I wanted to, it for myself because it's rich. Well, fuck it. I'm done with this nation after uh, after the rebellion is over anyway, and I find out about the black maze. So screw them all. Someone... What? All oh, right. Vilna was seized. I totally forget that. Oh wow, that could have ended this whole thing. Way to go, me. Fuck. Oh, brother, that was a... Uh... Jeez. This could have <laughs> this could have ended the whole rebellion. Okay, small armies, it's time for you to leave. Oh hell no. So you want to come after me? Is that it? Army of two hundred. We don't have an we don't have an army. Army a lot enough to uh, scare them. Okay, now they are leaving. They suddenly, suddenly want to go after some. Suddenly want to follow someone else. Okay, that's fine. Oh wow, with an army like that. And actually, have I talked to that guy? I haven't seen an army that big. So I better better check it out and make sure. Please don't... Oh, fuck! That, that's what I was afraid of. Will you come after me? Yes, you will. Son of a bitch. Come on, help me out here. Now you will come after me when I'm when I'm close enough. Okay. Damn it. Well, let's go. Uh, let's go try to take uh, 
take the last castle if uh, if some of the Polish lords have left the place, then uh, then we might be able to do it. We still have the campaign on. Carefully speeding up here. Let's see. No, they are, st they are all here. Uh, have I talked to that guy? It would be kind of cool to just take the town by talking to the man. I think I have talked to them though. He's, on, he's not on the list because there's so many of them. Okay, one of them leaves. Many of them leave. Many of them come after me. Are you serious? You are alone, dude. <laughs> oh, wow. You stupid dumbass. Cavalry there, one row. Companions here, Saramon here. Hawksmen, fire and wheel, cavalry attack, companions attack. Oh, hello. Charge! Ah, uh, because that tactic, tactic was obviously not working against the Hussars. Yeah, I don't have my lands. Thoughts. Decent finish.